Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Christine. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to a video that is not about Monate. I thought it was important to take a little break occasionally in between videos because there's so much happening with Monate in Monate and also people consistently leaving that I thought it's interesting and important now to talk about somebody who is not a former Monate hun. And then I realized, dang it, this person was also in Monate, but I think we can give this one a pass because this individual has tarnished her reputation and also that of the MLM she supposedly still is in and the entire group of people who went to the new MLM that I don't really remember and I don't really count her as a Monate hun. But just so that you know, this is also a former Monate hun who is now an iGenius, who is now selling a lot of classes and courses not really connected to MLMs anymore. This individual tries to make a name for herself as a coach and as somebody who creates courses, who is then selling this to digital entrepreneurs. And we're talking about my friend Jasmine, Jasmine Elizabeth who was also a Monate hun. Jasmine sent me an email. We're, we're really close. Or am I on her emailing list? Yes, I am. She is trying to sell her ultimate branding course and she's making some really, really substantial financial claims there. For this video, I will have to, yet again, get my glasses. These are my beloved $5.99 glasses from the drugstore. I also have others that are really, really pricey. They're $9.99 from the drugstore, but I cannot part with things. Anyway, that's not what this is about, but I will have to use my glasses for this because according to her, she made $895 in one day and that is why she wants to entice us to take a look at her ultimate branding course. There are so many, in my opinion, grifters moving now also in the coaching and branding classes, courses, MRR, master resale rights niche, if you will, that I think it is also interesting and important to take a look at these things and also to alert people, if you ever receive emails like this, to be on the lookout. Her email says to me personally, $895 earned in one day. Happy Friday. Let me be real with you on this one. Yesterday was an $895 day. So according to her, she made $895 in just one day. And my question would be, Jasmine, how often does that happen? Just that yesterday, just that one day or every day? Because when you work in sales in some way, shape or form, whether it is her trying to sell a business opportunity in iGenius or she tries to sell courses, classes, branding initiatives, MRR, master resale rights courses, then that is not a steady job and she could have made well, no money for an entire week, for an entire month, for an entire year, and then almost 900 bucks in a day. But we're not getting any background information on how many times she actually gets paid that amount of money in a day. Would be interesting to know the rhythm there, but no, we're not getting that. To put this into perspective, for someone working at a minimum wage job in Canada, assuming $15 per hour, it would take approximately 95.7 hours to earn this amount. That's over seven full work days, assuming eight hour work days. Yeah, that is called working a minimum job. I have a suspicion that these are the people that she also wants to pitch this to, the people who are not happy with their lives, who think, hey, I'm that person. I make minimum wage in Canada. I make 15 bucks an hour. And this is how much I make in seven full work days. But this person claims that she made that much money in one entire day. I want that as well. For a corporate worker earning an average of $29 per hour, it would take around 30.9 hours to make $895. This equates to almost four full work days. This comparison highlights the significant difference between working by the hour 
and earning through sales or other performance-based methods. And then she's also comparing this to the also oh hated corporate job. I mean, that is something she knows because that was also part of her main pitch in MLMs, whether it was, yes, Monate or iGenius, the assumption that everybody just wants to escape their horrible corporate job. So of course we have to pitch it to people who are financially not happy because they work a minimum wage job and people who want to escape their corporate job. And yeah, there is a significant difference between people working by the hour or people working through commission, working through sales. And for some people, it is worth getting a job with a stable, clearly calculable income because at the end of the month, you know how much money you make. At the end of the week, you know how much money you make or to have a very clear and stable income because you're getting paid by the hour and then you know how many hours you have to work to receive the income that you need because that money will end up in people's bank accounts and there will be no further deductions. And for some people, it is really important to understand how much money they will make at the end of the week or at the end of the month. Her saying that she is earning so much money through sales is also a very broad field or it is a very broad term because when you are an actual salesperson employed by a company in whatever way, shape or form in a legitimate sales force, then you also typically get some sort of base pay and then commission or bonuses on top, depending on how you perform. How many products do you sell? How many services do you sell? Do you hit your goals, etc. What she is doing here is she is referring to herself, either her sketchy MLM business or her classes, her branding classes, in this case, very likely her MRR class, a master resale rights class that she is selling. And you can purchase that for a lot of money. It was around 500 bucks. And then you are able to use this course and either learn learn from it and really use it for all of your digital adventures, but you can also resell it and receive 100% of the profit. That is her claim to fame with these classes. And that is typical for MRR classes. MRR classes, I will link a video here where I reacted to her entire pitch about this MRR class. If you want to take a look, it's, it's a problem in itself because the way a lot of people are pitching this is that you will receive a lot of super valuable information from this class alone. So the price for the class itself can already be worth it, but you can also start to make money right away because you're able to sell the class and you receive 100% of the profit disregarding that a lot of people don't have the following. Why would anybody be able to sell a $500 class if they don't have a lot of followers? people who trust what they have to say, and then they try to sell a random course for 500 bucks from a random person about a random topic. It is very misleading and it is like MLMs, very, very sketchy, because for a lot of people, it means that they will spend $500 on a class, on a course that will not make them any money in return. And that is one of the pit holes also of these classes where nothing is guaranteed. You purchase a product, you have a lot of expenses potentially, just like with MLMs, with multi-level marketing companies, but you have no guaranteed return on your investment. But let's see, let's see if this is your reality, you work a minimum wage job or you work a horrible corporate job, what does she has to offer? Now imagine what it could look like if you mastered the skills of online branding and marketing to generate sales with the right strategies, you could potentially see a daily income like this consistently, giving you more financial freedom and flexibility. Imagine earning $895 in a day, multiple days a week. Let's get back to my original question. How often does she actually do that? How often does she sell classes for 895 bucks? How likely is it that you will be able to do that daily. This could have been her only sale for the entire week, for two weeks, for three weeks, or for the entire month. And in that case, because there is no consistent approach to selling this, because you have no control that people regularly purchase these classes for 895 bucks each and every day, you are financially in a worse situation than somebody who works a minimum job in a week or somebody who works a corporate job. So which would you prefer? Would you rather work by the hourly rate or earn by each sale? Yet again, rhythm of sale is really important. How many times do you make that much money allegedly in a day, Jasmine? I would prefer the hourly rate in this case. This is exactly what I teach in UBC. 
the ultimate branding course. Most of my income comes from sales and if you want to get involved, you can start with UBC and receive three months of my mentorship program included for free. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Click here to unlock the special offer, total savings, 239 Jasmine Elizabeth XO. Well, my thoughts are not necessarily favorable, but I will share them with you anyways. This is her ultimate branding course with master resale rights. So it's another tool to pitch her MRR course. Learn our proven strategy to grow a powerful brand that will get you paid and increase your online sales passively. But what credentials does she have? She was rather successful for a certain period of time. She was at the second highest rank in Monate, for example, and then she left to iGenius and she was able to recruit a lot of people over a certain period of time. But now it looks like she's not doing that well anymore. The people who left with her with WFAB, a group of people to iGenius, they have ever since rebranded. and They're now following another person. They're following another person's lead. So how successful are you really? And how proven is your strategy to grow a powerful brand if you cannot sustain this? What she is offering is over 130 course videos and resources, lifetime community access, sold with master resale rights. Master resale rights means in this case that she's offering you this ultimate branding course and you can benefit and you can profit off of the things that she says in this course, but you can also sell it and keep 100% of the profit. So if you sell it for 500 bucks, you can keep the 500 bucks. Earn 100% of the resale profits, no monthly fees or upselling. Well, it depends how pricey of course this is, this, this baby, it's, I believe it was around 500 bucks. That's already a lot of money. Why would I have to spend monthly fees or upselling on something like this? Bonus, done for you funnel templates. <laughs> and then you have to confirm and pay. And there it is. The ultimate branding course for 499 US dollars. That is really pricey for a class where you don't know what it is really about. And then you can pay via credit or debit card or via PayPal. DM me if you need a payment plan outside of Canada. That is really upsetting always to see that she's pitching this to vulnerable people who are desperate to make money. People who work a minimum wage job and people who cannot afford 500 US dollars for a class. And that's why they need a payment plan. She's really pitching this to the vulnerable people because if you really thought about this, this offer, you would understand how bogus this is. She very likely also sold in the beginning predominantly to people who were in her downline, who were already used to sketchy systems, high control groups like MLMs and not necessarily outside customers. And then she has this plan for as low as $49 per month for Canadians only. The reason that I wanted to talk about this random offer and this random email that I received is because I find this so wrong and so predatory that she is targeting minimum wage worker and she is offering an installment plan to reel them into her bogus marketing plan for $500. Where is the worth and the value when you purchase this $500 course? You could learn from a marketing course how to brand yourself, how to promote yourself better. It could be that that is actually also working, the class that she is offering, or you could also just figure it out yourself. If you don't have 500 bucks available, you can get all of that information very likely available for free on social media already. You don't have to spend $500. If you don't have an interest in social media, in digital marketing, and you don't have an already existing online following, or you run a legitimate business where social media presence might be helpful, then this is likely of no worth to you. Because what are you going to market? You're going to market yourself. You want to be an influencer, but then if you don't have a following, because that is always her claim to fame for these MRR courses, if you don't have a business yet and you don't know what you're doing, you can always resell this course and make some money before you have figured out what kind of business you want to start. But if you don't have a following, who are you going to sell to? That doesn't make any sense. She also in this class, I believe, had tips how you can build your social media, but you don't grow your social media quickly or overnight 
you don't put out content for a community of people who are interested in this, and that will take time. So you're going to spend $500 for something that will very, very likely not pay you in return. And with this approach of just sell a course, you have MRR master resell rights. It sounds more interesting than just purchasing a course for 500 bucks, of course, because if you're able to sell this course for $500, then you can keep the money. The profit is all yours. And she, as the creator of this class, she doesn't get a portion of this. Still, you had to pay $500 for the original course and you need to sell to at least one person to break even or to two people to make a profit. So for whom is this interesting? Once again, it is not worth it if you don't already have a very impressionable group of people, of followers or a business surrounding like MLMs to sell to. And like I believe in her case, especially in the beginning, a very impressionable young downline who admire her, who very likely was her very, very best customer base. So let's not fall for this crap. Even if she were able to the day before she sent off this email was able to make $895. That doesn't mean that she is successful in what she is doing there. She has other streams of income. She has been very open about this. And she was also a kept woman at some point. She said it. I was a girlfriend. My boyfriend paid for everything while she was putting on this facade though on social media pretending that she is such a boss babe. This individual specifically has a really, really bad track record of being honest with her following. And she's pretty much outing herself again and again and again. She was at some point successful in Monet, but then she dropped in ranks. She and her other leaders were not making enough money and then they went to a genius. That came out later, after they already left Monet. In iGenius, she also said, well, we were really doing our best. We really had to work for weeks and months at a time. I didn't even have the ability to shower, nor did my leaders. And if you want to be as successful as I am, you need to do the very same thing. That doesn't sound very appealing, but of course she won't tell you that when she's pitching you iGenius. And now a lot of people in iGenius who were in her downline don't respect her anymore. They left iGenius, they're looking towards another leader, unfortunately, Sabrina, and Sabrina rebranded the entire WFAB group of scammers, at least in my opinion, into legends. It's essentially the same thing. So the people don't even respect her anymore and they don't even follow her anymore. And then she came out with this branding courses with branding classes and because it was trendy coming out with MRR master resale rights. There are a lot of updates happening in the MRR courses world and also in the MLM world faster than I can even react to these because guess who is not with a genius anymore? Somebody who's creating a lot of courses. And this individual, yes, you guessed it, is Jasmine, who has a new offer for us. She is now in pharmacy. That is a Turkish MLM that sells beauty products and makeup. And her newest offer is if you sign up with her, you gorgeous, gorgeous people, as a beauty influencer in pharmacy, and you purchase a certain amount of product. So if you become her downline, then you can head on over to her Instagram comment done and then you get her mentorship program for free. That is yet again desperation and a way how the Huns try to bulk up their downline. Looks like the classes are not going well. So it's a no for me, Jasmine Elizabeth. We're not going to fall for this crap and we're not going to be impressed by you allegedly making 895 Canadian dollars because most people are able to make more money in a stable job, even in a minimum wage job. I am on a lot of these emailing lists also for the purpose of this video and also to see what are the people up to. And I find it really, really interesting and really sketchy and really heartbreaking when people fall for this. If you like these types of videos, then please like, subscribe, comment, share. You know the drill that really helps this channel out a lot. Hello to now over 1,500 subscribers. This channel has experienced a good amount of growth. I'm really, really excited and I'm really happy about this. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sending me inspiration for new videos, new topics to react to. My contact information is always linked down below. If you want to let me know something, if you want to send me content to react to, you can always do that while uploading the content to your Google Drive and then share that with my email. And if you like these types of videos, then hopefully I will see you in my next one. Until then, cheers!